Welcome to this screencast. As you see, I'm running Ubuntu 11.10 and my installation is quite a bit uncommon in that if I go to the root directory called slash, all I see there is a directory called applications. This is where my apps reside. A directory called home, this is where my user files are. A directory called media, this is where disks are mounted. And, and this is the specialty, a directory called system, this is where my operating system resides. Inside this system directory, I have a subdirectory called ISO and it contains lots and lots and lots of ISO files of Linux Live CD images. When I boot my system, I can freely choose from these operating systems. The great thing is, if a new operating system comes out, all I have to do is download the ISO file, put it into this directory, and reboot the system, and there I go. So upgrading an uh, operating system is really quick and fun, since uh, if it goes wrong, I can just go back and delete this file and boot the previous version of the operating system. The other great thing is, as you saw this applications directory, this is where I store all my apps. And uh, what this means is that no matter which operating system I boot into, I always have access to the same apps that I have installed here. For example, I can open Google Chrome and it will run on just any of the operating systems I have installed in my system. This is made possible by a new application that I'm developing that is preparing live CD images so that can they can be booted by loop mounting them and using the grub2 bootloader. Unfortunately some of the ISO images need to be modified a little bit, um, especially their initial RAM disk init RD, but this is all automatically taken care of. On the other hand I'm using the app image format for my applications, which you can already now find on portablelinuxapps.org. Stay tuned and I'm continuing to develop this. If you would like to try it, please leave a note.